welcome to the first Fashion Friday of 2020. We made it. The Roaring Twenties are officially upon us. I also just realized that is my laundry drying on my rack in the background, keeping it real. So I want to talk to you guys today about something that I have finally hacked, how to find out your own personal style with Instagram and all the stuff that you're bombarded with on the internet and magazines and TV shows and everyone telling you what the new trends are that you should buy, it can be really overwhelming to figure out what is your style. I want to make you look like you sound if you're an artist and I want to help you use your clothing as a visual expression of who you are as a person. So here is how I figure out someone's personal style. I want you to imagine that you're on a desert island and you get five records that you have to take with you. What are those five records? I'll give you a second to think about it because I have a backup list too. So you get the five records. And what colors are currently decorating your house? People think that's a really weird question to ask. That's a really weird thought process. But the way I look at it, style, clothing in general, it's a form of art. It's the only form of art you're legally obligated to buy, so you might as well use it to your advantage, am I right? So, for me, my top five records, Exile on Main Street by the Rolling Stones, Rubber Soul by the Beatles, Magical Mystery Tour by the Beatles, probably two is on there, um, the CSN record where they're on a boat, that's three, that's four. I'll take back one of my Beatles ones. Uh, Harvest, Neil Young. It changes every day. And Nasty Gal. Nasty Gal by Betty Davis would be this week. It changes every week. So what do all of those have in common? Um, very strong points of view. Classic. They stand the test of time, but they're also a little bit funky. I guarantee you that'll change because I'm thinking like, oh, I miss B.B. King. I like music a lot. But what I did was I took all of my influences and I put them in a blender. So it doesn't have to be five, but pick five records if it makes it easier. Then look at the colors in your house. My colors in my house are purple, orange, mustard yellow, tons of plants. So that's kind of my designated color palette. So those are my little hacks of figuring out what resonates with you as a person. So when you find authentic and true style, it's going to work because it resonates with you. So for me, I figured out pretty early on that I liked all things 60s and 70s, but I liked the guy's clothes um, just as much as I liked the women that dated them. I always joked that my uh, style I was going for was rock star wife chic. And now that I'm married to a musician, I realized it kind of worked in my favor. Um, but think about that. That is a very broad term that you can use for anybody. I also want to think about if you have style inspirations, if you have style icons that you like, you might think that they're completely different. They're so far from each other. I did this with Lindsay Kirkendall on her um, Instagram live when we were talking about styling for artists. She said, I really like Nicole Richie, but I also like super polished and professional. And I like the rocker and bohemian, but I like the luxe, the luxe end of things. And I thought, oh, you're Kate Moss. And she said, what? She, Kate Moss wasn't even on her radar. And I said, okay, so for every extreme that you have, as far as style inspiration goes, there's someone in the middle. So, but I also really like Jane Birkin and Bridget Bardot and these like super like beautiful women. So in between is basically what I figured out is the classic bohemian. So it's not the free people stuff. It is the, this is actually a men's sweater. So like I borrow a lot of inspiration from menswear. Uh, like Marianne Faith was a great option because she's got the glam face, but she's wearing suits or she wore suits all the time. There's so many in between options. And then you can use the inspiration like, but that was a really great way for me to kind of point it out for her. So she liked Nicole Richie and she liked Audrey Hepburn. So in between is Kate Moss. And the reason why I said that was she has pieces that never go out of style, but they also have a bohemian element to them without looking crazy and over the top. So I want you to go on Pinterest. Pinterest should sponsor me, I think. Go on Pinterest and make what's called a mood board. I do this before every photo shoot with every single client. And I want you to just go on there and start typing in things that inspire you. It doesn't have to be style. It doesn't have to be fashion related, but musicians or songs or art that you like or food that you like or colors that you like and go through and make a mood board. And when you're done, scroll through and see what everything has in common. Maybe there's a reoccurring color palette. We all naturally are gravitating 
we all naturally gravitate towards a color palette. We just don't know it yet. So what are you gravitating towards? And that's a really great way to figure out your color palette to go out in the world shopping with. And that's a great way to figure out your bookends. So your Kate Ma or your, um, your Nicole Richie and your Audrey Hepburn. Those are your bookends, your personal styles in the middle. So mine are Keith Richards and Cher. That's it, those are my two bookends. So like that's where I live in my comfort zone. So super glam Cher or really messed up, dirty, grungy, disheveled Keith Richards, mine's in the middle. So I will take the Cher glam and I'll do like a lot of jewelry or I'll do my hair similarly, but I'm also gonna wear a men's sweater and like ripped bell bottom jeans and um, you know, something of that sort. Uh, what I really like about Keith's style is that he threw on whatever was on the floor. I always like to say my style is delightfully disheveled, but I add elements of the glam into it. So I'm in the middle, I'm their little love child. But I also take inspiration from like Linda Ronstadt and all those other like 60s and 70s Playboy models. I'm just a little of in everything in between. But if you look at me, look at my closet, it makes sense. So I like to say, take your Pinterest board, throw it in a blender and sprinkle some magic on top. So take the color palette, take inspiration. T so in this case, take, I pretty, Mick Jagger had this sweater, but everybody in the 60s had this sweater. So I borrowed Mick Jagger's sweater and Cher's hair, and I'm gonna be wearing these really great high-waisted jeans today that are very Jane Birkin inspired. And I'm gonna probably put a double-breasted jacket on top of it. And there it is, that's everything in between. Everything is classic, but it has a little touch of bohemianness without looking like, oh my God, I just went to free people. <laughs> but whatever that is for you, we can figure out your bookends and then you are right in the middle. If you have any questions, if this completely went over your head, feel free to reach out to me. I am doing virtual sessions for the month of January for all of those of you who want to have new year, new me. I can help you organize your closet. I can help you get a capsule collection going so it makes getting dressed so much easier and I can just help you in general. But I think that owning your individual personal style is the quickest way to get people that are your people. So if you run a business, your ideal clients, if you're a musician, it's your target market audience. There are so many perks to having your personal style in the bag and walking out wearing something that you feel like a million bucks in. It's 2020 inflation, a billion bucks. Until next week, actually until Monday when I release this video I'm so excited about, I will see you then. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, you wear it well. I love you guys so much. I'll see you Monday. Bye.